hi guys, how are you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well indeed. I'm Robin, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another brand battle. Now this is one that's been requested quite a lot, quite a lot, a lot by you guys. So this is Damon Barber up against Baxter of California. If you're new to Brand Battle, then hi, welcome to Brand Battle. This is where I take two comparable brands, well their products anyway, and put them up against each other. So what I do is go through a number of different factors and just see how they compare. So I'm gonna talk about what the products actually are, the ingredients, the packaging, the smell, the consistency, the ease of application, the styling, the finish, the washability, the price, and then guys, finally, the verdict. If you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then you are very welcome to press subscribe. I'd love you to. Press it right now. It just basically means that you're gonna see a notification as soon as I upload, which is twice a week. But here we go, guys. Baxter of California versus Damon Barber. The two products are both called Clay Pomades. First one by Baxter of California, a brand from the US which was created in 1965 by Finley Baxter. There's a bit of history for you. Then versus a newer brand, Damon Barber, which was created in 2011 by two brothers who've got a background in design and barbering. This one has been blowing up recently. I have heard so much about Damon Barber, so many good things. My barber goes on about it. He said, we need to try this with you. So I have been. And then Baxter of California is just a good, solid brand that seems to be everywhere and is a lot of people's go-tos. The biggest difference for me in these products comes in the formulation. Now you've got the Damon Barber one, which is water-based, so more of that sort of modern formulation, versus the Backstroke California one, which is wax-based. Now looking at the ingredients, guys, this Backstroke California one, we've got petrol atom, beeswax, bentonite, which is a type of clay, versus that Damon Barber one, which obviously on the top there, we've got water, then we're into beeswax, hydronated castor oil, and then bentonite. So actually they've got very similar things, but obviously one water-based, one wax-based. Looking at packaging, they really couldn't be any different. Although they're both in these glass jars with a black lid, the Baxter of California one is totally simple, nothing around it, no label, just the branding on the top, clay pomade, made Baxter California, and then they've got all the ingredients hidden under one of these flaps on the bottom, versus the Damon Barber one, which has got a lot more to it. It's more traditional in the way it looks, although it is that uh, more modern product. But for me, the point for packaging, purely just because I like how simple it is, goes to Baxter of California. Again, these are very different when we talk about smell. We've got the Baxter of California one, which really smells like everything else out in the market. It's nothing new, it's nothing that exciting. It's quite minty, it's fresh, it's inoffensive, versus the Damon Barber one, which I think is gonna be quite polarizing. Sometimes when I smell this, I like it, sometimes I don't. It's more botanical, it's quite herby, but I think it's got a slightly acidic twist to it. So really, for me, the point for smell, purely because it doesn't bother me that much, goes to Baxter of California. Now the actual product might look quite similar, but they are very different in consistency. The Baxter of California one is slightly harder to the touch, it's more waxy, but it warms up very, very quickly, actually very surprisingly quickly, versus the Damon Barber one, which although soft, is more dry to the touch and actually harder to warm up. So the point for me goes to Baxter of California. Now in ease of application, I'm literally seeing how easy is it to get through your hair? Is it tugging? Is it nice and smooth? How does it feel? And actually guys, these products are very similar when it comes down to this. You know, although the Damien Barber one takes slightly longer to warm, once it is warm, it goes through super simple. They're both very smooth, there's no tugging, my hair, my scalp, all feels good. So guys, actually, I would have to really start picking holes in both of them in order to get an outright winner in this. So this one is a draw. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been going between both these products. One, because I've got to see how they work, but also because I actually really like using these. They're perfect with the styles I'm going for. It's that sort of everyday slick back. They're good, both of them actually, for volume, but there's one that I think just is slightly more firm, so allows you to control the hair more. So the point for styling goes to Baxter of California. Now you're looking at points thinking it's all over for Damon Barber. It might have been until we looked at finish. Now, both these products say they've got a strong hold or firm hold and a matte finish. Now, although they've both got a great hold, we saw that obviously the Baxter of California one is slightly more firm. I would say the Damon Barber one has got 
that better finish because it is matte when you look at it. I also think this is going to be better for shorter styles than this one. If your hair is slightly longer, then Backstreet California could be for you. But the point for finish, purely because it does have a matte finish, goes to Damon Barber. Washability should be a very easy one in this. We've got a wax-based product versus a water-based product. But actually, guys, washing my hair with the Backstreet California one is super simple and actually most of the product does come out just with water. If you want to fully cleanse that hair, obviously get a shampoo in. Versus Damon Barber one, which just with water it all comes out. So the point for washability, unsurprisingly, goes to Damon Barber. Price is obviously going to come down to where you live, the currency, import taxes, delivery. So do your research. I mean, I have linked everything so you can give it a check. But I found the Damon Barber one in Harvey Nichols online and also in store. It's 100 grams or 3.53 fluid ounces, also available in 50 grams. For £20, uh, $26.15 or €24.57. And then for the Batch of California one, 60 mils or 2 fluid ounces. It's £15.91, $20 or €18.95. So guys, looking purely at the price per 100 mils, the one which is better value is the Damon Barber. The verdict, we have got five points for Batch of California versus four points for Damon Barber. Now, although we do have a winner with one point extra, I've got to say, I don't think this is an outright winner. I love both of these products. I'm going to fully endorse them. I think you should be trying them. I think they are great. I would say if wax-based products don't bother you because you're going to use the same product every day, Batch of California is probably going to be the best for you. Also probably the most widely available. But if like me, you change your product all the time, you want to do different styles, then you're going to want something which is slightly easier to wash. So the Damon Barber one would probably be for you. There we go guys, thank you so much for watching this brand battle and thank you very much for suggesting it. I have loved and still loving both of these products. Very good. So keep your brand battle suggestions coming as you've just seen, I do do what you want, especially if you say please. Uh, guys, if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe but you are enjoying my videos, then please do press subscribe. It is up there, it's free, it just means you're gonna see all my new videos as soon as they go live. But also guys, little link to another video to watch there, Give it a click, enjoy, relax. I'm going to see you in my next new video, which will be Thursday. Bye-bye.